San Francisco morning, November 8th, 2016. I lay in bed, listening for the telltale sounds of the city, winking beneath me. That's how I knew the world was about to change. Turning pages between the occasional siren, throbbing chopper, Silence metastasized like a sick pancreas. Dark splotches on a radiograph, like your jagged breath asking, am I loved? Will I die? I lay in a borrowed bed, picking at a scab till it rebled, trickling down my hand, tickling as it dropped its black pearls onto my host chase sheets as I thought about how I'd rather be since I couldn't sleep in the world's most beautiful city. The trolley car clanking past my window reassured me that ministers and junkies, street performers and surgeons had one eye open. Morning had already begun. No firecrackers, horns, troubadour areas, no revelry in the streets, no, the scrapers held their tongues as I waited in my berth, pressing my thumb to the dampened scab, wanting it to stop, to be something other than angry and red, my lover still with the election returns, my grown kids perched on couch arms, watching screens across the way, fist over mouth, pounding leather in disbelief. I listened, sleepless for the first sounds that the world would go on as it was, or better. But I knew a wound must bleed before it clots. Only movement can stop. Enjoy it while it lasts. I heard my mother's ghost warning from a height greater than the city. I went to an ashram praying for commotion. I ate oysters from seven shoals lusting for more. I marveled at the painted ladies the built-in fitness of steep city streets took pictures I might use in a poem. Almost bought a postcard from Lawrence Ferlinghetti, black background announcing the end. But who would want a record of this day? Who wants to bleed on someone else's nest? I went to the tea garden, solemn as a church, counted the koi, colorful as Tibetan monks, basking in sun by the miniature pier, free of nighttime premonitions. Escaping the wharf's cacophony, I joined a handful of hopefuls visiting Alcatraz, a sliver of hell with no escape but sure death from the din of bleeding and blotting and plotting another way out. Lore has it prisoners would lie awake on their racks, listening to yacht club revelers across the bay, celebrating New Year's Eve, picking the scab off another year. Thank you.